Saltier people used to refer to them as cool lame when they got wobbled because cool they were really mad. Lame. And that's one of those like school bully <laughs> name yes, It's really yes. not creative at all. <laughs> uh, it's not. And the truth is, cool line is pretty cool. You know, he plays Ice Climber. He's the coolest character uh, in the game, as you know. I once said. As when you I said earlier, Pound, yes. Found two videos and saw two that win. I was like, dude, Ice Climber is actually the coolest. I tried to be an Ice Climber man for about five minutes. After you saw that video? Yeah, he gave it a cool five minutes. Uh, I believe uh, most recently, and one of his most recent notable wins was over uh, Magi, I think. Yes. Uh, Magi, who at this point is becoming known for a traveling. household name. Yeah, a household name. And on top of that, it's become kind of known for traveling to events and getting wobbled by whoever's playing there. <laughs> so, like, uh, it, it's become somewhat of a, I guess, tragic group, uh, you know, and a few Magi, and, and that's it. Tournaments that you fly to, you always get, like, wobbled out of I, I imagine she was just thinking going into this, I'm not getting wobbled here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, K.I., of course, playing the ground is lava game. You know what's interesting about Fox is like you know, a lot of people think Fox is a cool character. Uh, I do think Fox is a cool character. But Kayon, got, will, Kayon will show you really quickly why that's not the case. Yeah. So, huh? But the thing is, he's got the tools to out quote unquote blame anybody if yes. he wants to. He just also happens to have the tools to just beat him up real quick. Um, but so a lot of these characters that people call quote unquote lame, ice climbers, wiggly puffs. Fox can stuff, definitely be lamer. He can just run from them and shoot them, and they can't stop him because he's fast. Like, see that? You can't do anything yeah, about Yeah, they that. can't do anything about it. What are you gonna do about it? That's he's what fast. I, you know, a lot of people hate Cam, but I really, I admire some of the simple genius of his style. Yeah. But, but you know how they say it takes two to tango. You know, as I got older and wiser, I realized it takes two to camp. Yeah. You know what I mean? People often blame the least popular character for the. The length of matches sometimes. You know, in the in the age of Ice Climbers Puff, uh, he's not the Fox player we need, but he is the one that we deserve. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, he doesn't even. Dude, I love oh, yeah. Chaos, dude. I love him. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> M Bison, yes. Dot Jim. Yeah. Yes. All right. So. Um, if you're cool, I've seen the start you went to your first game, but oh, he almost had this. You know, doing great. he had the space signal on that right, but he got blown forward just a little bit into the up B. And you guys all know what happens next after this. And this is what we've gotten used to. You know, a lot of Ice Climbers brains have actually already started to not wobble just in preparation for other events. Yeah, we really haven't seen much. Yeah, a lot of them are just, they're, they're going the Fly Amanita way, where they're like, I'm not going to do it. Cool line, bro. He's definitely too cool for that. Just a little too cool and a little too lime. Yeah. And he's perfectly willing. Think about this, you know, him as a person, he's perfectly willing to play this game. Uh, the, the patient game, rather. Because he believes in himself, which is what you really need. Especially in his ability to get you with a grab eventually. And now, there's the Sopo uh, scenario again. And he comes out swinging. Well, just barely misses the up, the, uh, up smash, does K.O.M. He's definitely willing to exploit the natural uh, physical attributes of Fox, more so than most. He's just willing to do things that most Fox players aren't willing to do, namely just stand and not do anything, really, if he doesn't need to. He has, like, no unnecessary movements yeah. in his play style. Well, we all saw that one, uh, the Pound 2016 was uh, Hacks versus Nintendo, uh -huh. where Hacks did not let Nintendo play the game at all. It was one player game. <laughs> And a lot of people look at that and they're like, well, why don't we just do that? Or uh, Cobol. I mean, Cobol is oh, a, yes. a guy who just goes in on Ice Climbers. Like, he just, it's Kobayashi. The thing, yeah, the thing about Cobol uh, uh, in general is he's, he just loves to fight. And so in his mind, he's like, I get to get two characters instead of one? This is great. It's twice the down air yeah, twice, shine. Twice the shines, twice the, 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 the nares, everything. 
Um, and he's not really afraid of getting wobbled, like he just doesn't care. Um, whereas some people are just not in their mentality, it's not in their playstyle. Or sometimes it's not even within their like technical ability. wheelhouse. Their yeah, will, yeah, their, their, their their list of skills. Yeah. Some people just can't bring themselves to camp either. Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, you're you're a person with thought combat sports, right? And and so you know, there's some people who just they, their mentality is just a certain way. Yeah. Some wanna people do their some people do their best work going forward, and some people do their best work moving backwards, trying yeah. to pull you into them. Yeah. Basically, laying traps. You know, even uh, some where, people are point fighters. Some people are knockout punchers. Yeah. And in a sense, Ice Climbers, especially with Wobbling Legal, they're more so knockout artists. I would compare, so this is interesting because I've actually had this exact conversation oh, with, a lot of, with a lot of melee people and a lot of fighters, but I would compare the Ice Climbers to freestyle wrestlers or people who are like, their game is to drag you to the ground and lay on you and beat you up. And pummel you. And pummel you, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I picture, I almost imagine wobbling as like Habib Nurmagomedov Habib, on top yes. of you, just like hammer fisting your face in and you're just waiting for it to be over. Because yeah. you can't escape. Those All you like can do the, is hope you can survive until the bell. Those are like the more uh, aggressive grapplers, right? Yeah, the, definitely. Uh, uh, because they come, they, you Habib's know, coming forward. Yeah, and, and the thing about Habib and people like freestyle wrestling, uh, the in MMA anyway, and the ice climbing is that there's no secret about what they're going to do. They're yeah. going to come forward and try to grab you, but yeah. you, a lot of people can't stop can't that. Stop <laughs> yeah, a lot of people can't stop that. And so the response for a lot of fighters is to run away and shoot lasers. And now you just have <laughs> picture Habib knowing a man off on top Elbows. of Conor McGregor just <laughs> elbowing and punching him. And there's no rough punch out of the ribs. There's no John McCarthy to step in and <laughs> no wave it off. Yeah, no RP <laughs> there. Uh, so cool I'm getting a, a nice stock right away, but I think this happened last game and it ended up not mattering that much. He did get a wobble last game, but if you can get two, that would be good. If you're on team cool line, team uh, Daniel Cormier. Habib time. Habib time. Alright, so uh, it looks like chaos. I almost feel like Chaos deviated from his play style in the previous game, yeah. which led to him getting wobbled. Well, I feel like this corner, like, if you imagine again, and it's like, fine, this corner's like, all right, you're down. You know, this isn't working. You gotta go throw box to the win, right? <laughs> Woo! And sometimes, that's the thing, you know, styles make fights. You know, sometimes yes. you, you have to be willing to adapt. That's what makes Chaos such an interesting prospect, is because he's a guy who all your Fox character knowledge, for the most part, you're not going to be able to really apply it in the same way because he's so conservative in comparison to another Fox player. Yeah. Um, almost reminds me of, uh, not a Fox, but a Falco player, uh, Zanguzin. Yes. Who had a similar approach to the game with Falco, where he was just, he was never going to give you anything. You had to earn everything. And this is all of a sudden a, a pretty close battle. And of course, moving and grooving. Trying to draw, and then gets picked up by the forward air and grabbed, and that's going to be a stop. Like I said, like, there are some people who like, when they get a grab, and it also kind of reminds me of some of the top, like, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, practitioners, where they're just so good at grabbing you, and they're like, okay, I'm taking this arm home with me. Right, yes. You know? Yeah, I would very, I would very much compare Ice Time. I would say Ice Time is pretty much the only true grappling character in the game right yeah, now. Yeah, I would say so. And you know, sometimes you know people get frustrated by it. And sometimes you know somebody gets out of it. You know, but they just grab. I feel like Kaon was just like he 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 was lacking his biggest tool, which is that top left. Yeah. So he was. So a lot of his strategy kind of either went out the window, or he had to readjust it to fit the stage, and it did not work out for him. So definitely going to be st seeing a stage with a top platform in this next one. There's no doubt about that. No matter what you ban, yeah. there's going to be at least one stage we can go to that has that toppy plat. There and it is. So it's Yoshi's. Probably just wanted to get those kills earlier that he was getting er the, that he was getting in the last game. Almost got a real easy first stock. We also got to keep in mind. Fox, though he's a fast faller, is also light.
So he could also lose stocks a lot earlier. And speaking of losing stocks early, he's about That's to all it takes right there. Oh, I'll be of time. Grab. I'll be of time. Dead of Corvier. And that's it. Champ, champ. Kaon got a little bit of work to do here. 27% is uh, not a... Not a uh, high percent stock or anything that's going to Oh, but you know what? Buddy bounced him. You know what? Taking zero damage. We just saw, like, the, 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 the double-edged sword, really, of this matchup in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, so um, here we are back in neutral, and, uh, well, he got caught with the up there. He's been, you know what? He's been just barely missing with a lot of those up airs, but... Uh, they're starting to connect now more often. But he loses throughout the set, definitely. Yeah. The game one, they were like never hitting. Now I feel like his active is just going up for every minute. He's just, I think he's also just getting a good uh, hand, handle on the DI, like uh, uh, yeah. uh, the DI patterns of his opponent. Wow, speaking of DI, that was actually not good DI. Okay, I almost lost the stock there, but just managed to make it back. Alright, rinse and repeat. Very nice. He does have a jump, so he has options. Oh, he goes for the ball up air. hammer. Cool, I'm trying to get a trying to get a freebie there. Definitely a scrap right now. Game three, close game. Killable percent for Fox for the Ice Climbers with a down smash or forward smash read. Should be it here. That's going to be it. Nana took a little bit of damage, but Popo didn't take any. Keeping it nice and even here, cool line. Just keeping it cool. That's very... Un oh, he saves Nana! Yeah. I remember the first time I saw Nana get saved through the stage, it blew my mind. Uh, but not that time. It's just one of those things where you're like, why does that work? But then you're like, ah, who cares? Now I've gotten used to it, you know, yeah. but... Once again, those up there is connecting with repetitious regularity right now. <laughs> There's just like, all of a sudden, it's like they're heat seeking, right? Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned for Kaon. Well, they maybe not. Because this is how he always plays, right? Well, he's just but he's just going to chip away at the Sopo. Or his, his, his idea is that he's going to use full hop and aerials to just like chip at this Sopo until Nana comes back. And he's going to try to do the same thing again on the last stock. Messes up the jump shine. The thing about it that scares me a little bit is like a lot of times foxes. Oh wow, that could be huge. Oh, oh man, he, cool he just barely managed to grab the edge. I there. can't believe he didn't tech that. Fox oh, privilege combo. The side beat up air recovery yeah, we combo. We used to call that the, the Sakurai Junior. You know, the up oh, we used to call it the Sakurai to, combo. In North Carolina, right? we called it the Twitch combo because oh, yeah, PP's definitely. little brother would always kill you with that. He's the man is up. gone. And that's crucial. If you're cool alive, this is your moment. Yeah, really. this is your moment. This is the pound moment. This is your moment where you can prove definitively that you're not just like somebody who uses wobbling or whatever the right. case may be. Yeah. Whatever the Johns are that people give you when you beat them. Yeah, this is these are one of those moments that kind of just define you as Ice Timers player. Yeah. These are kind of the moments that you live for as a player and you also hate them. Especially yes, cool live. And, and they might oh go back to the Oh my goodness, cool live. Oh, oh he's got it. Oh, he just barely misses the up air. Back at neutral. Cool came is so a, close. Could this be the end of this? Yeah. The fadeback. He's still, still has in one it. more chance. Oh, he's out. That's it, Kaon. Clutching it out. Game three versus Cool Lime.